Yeah, so hello everybody. Yeah, today we have uh, a job. Do you have a CPU? This is a motherboard for a CPU. And I have removed the motherboard. And yeah, this is the CPU. You can see it. I've removed the motherboard. So if you remember very well, uh, yesterday or the day before I made videos about servicing your motherboard or servicing your laptop, you should take your laptop to a professional, the laptop technician or PC technician to service your laptop so that your laptop can have a greater life or you can have a more lifespan with your laptop before the motherboard fails. Because um, we talked about the dust being between the pins of the chip and you've lived in a moist area or humidity, humid area the pin could short and maybe cause the problem. So after that video, I got a call from somebody. Hey, I took my desktop or my PC to somebody to service it for me. Unfortunately, I took the PC when it's working, but now it's not working. And I think maybe somebody left out of, left out some details and that's why the machine is not working. And I told him, just bring it in, we book it in and we'll check and maybe be able to tell you what the issue could be. So I've checked the whole of this motherboard. Everything looks fine. If you look at it, also you turn on the other side it's very clean it's true they clean the motherboard very well there's no dust there and i could not get where, where the issue is because even the kbc chip the the ite or the Nuveton chip is very clean the one that you can see here and also the ram ports are very clean but i could not get as to why this machine was not working and why the machine died after they did the service and so what i did now i came to the processor socket the one you see here and I removed the processor. And I got to understand why this machine is not working. So what usually happens, uh, when we are cleaning the motherboard, sometimes we use this toothbrush, or maybe you can use something else to clean. Some people will use the home dry, some others will use a certain spray, we usually spray on the motherboard. There are some people who wash using water and then they dry the motherboard, it can still work, only that you have to make sure that the motherboard is well dried, there's no water, and then before you yeah. switch it on. Unfortunately, I think somebody tampered with the socket. I talked to the client and asked him to what kind of shop did you take your motherboard for repair, your motherboard for servicing, and he told me it's just a friend who told him he had done these motherboards servicing before and he's got an experience to do that. So just bring it to me and I'll help you out. Eh? So he took the laptop to the person. But as we can see right here, according to me, I think this person ha does not have enough experience to service a laptop or a PC because now... I think while he was washing, this is my thoughts now because I was not there when they were servicing. As he was trying to scrub the motherboard, he came to the socket and maybe tried to clean the socket with that brush. And as a result, few pins got bent. And when that happened, now the processor is an issue and now the power cannot flow. I think let's go under the microscope and try to check this. Eh? After that video, I got like two more. Okay, we are going to check everything together. So, just a minute, let's convert to microscope. Yeah, so sometimes when you are taking your laptop to somebody to service it for you, I think you didn't need to be very keen as to who is going to service your laptop because in some instances you might end up with a dead machine like this one. Yeah, this is not a small processor, it's a Core i5. Try to remember that, that is costed money. Core i5 are not cheap, like the Duo Core or the Core 2 Duos. And so as you can see here, I don't know whether you're going to see that. You can see these pins are bent, eh? like this pin. Now this pin is actually broken, you can see. And now the question that is remaining here is, how am I even going to fix this now? Let's see. This pin is broken as you can see. Let's put it aside. So you can see there's another bend pin here. I don't know which. You can see this one. Eh? Yeah, you might try maybe to, to invest some time to make this motherboard the way it's supposed to be. You can take the whole day maybe to straighten these pins and maybe to align them the way they are supposed to be. But now like the one that we have seen that are just broken. What are you going to do with that pin now? 
that means that this machine will may never come on again. So as you can see the way I was telling you on the other videos I made yesterday, sometimes uh, cheap labor will cost you your, your PC or your laptop or maybe somebody you take to somebody okay, who does not know how to service your machine and maybe you'll end up with a dead machine like in this case now. Now are there, I'm left with a very big question now, that pin that has just broken, which data line or which power line is it? Is it a power line that must be there for the CPU to work? And the question is, is it going to work without that pin? Of course, that pin was not put there for granted. There must be a voltage that that pin is carrying, but now it's broken. What are you going to do now from there? Now that is an indication to show that this motherboard may not, may not work again. And we may have to tell the client, go find another motherboard. And there's nothing else we can do on this laptop here, on this PC. So I can see other bent pin. Yeah, this is the CPU socket. Try to remember that. Now there's another pin here. I don't know which pin is this. at this pin here I don't know now what to do with this pin okay this pin looks like it's inside maybe we need to pull it outside like that so actually I don't even know why I'm I'm wasting time trying to to fix this like this one is out now but where is supposed to align which direction is it supposed to face? So now you see it's touching this one. Eh? And I don't know from here what are you supposed to do. So let me check on the other one here. Yeah, I can see a few pins here are damaged. Let me check this other side. Here there are also some more bent pin, like this one here. I don't know whether you can see this one. And there are other broken pins. Check like this one. This is another broken pin here. You see this one here? This is a broken pin. The, the other part, I don't know whether it has fallen inside or maybe it's somewhere lying down. I don't know. So I get to ask you, Akusi. Now, how am I supposed to help this motherboard to come back to life? There's no you can change this CPU socket. It's not other. It's not easy to change the whole CPU socket. And so sometimes you'll be left with a dead motherboard because of poor services or because of taking your laptop to people who know, who don't know how to service. Okay, so I have another one here. I have another one here. This one, I don't think we, uh, we are going to be able to help it in any way. I think we may have to give up on that one. And this one is going to cost the client some... So I want us to check this one now. This is another one that came. So let me just return that processor. Yeah, there's nothing I can do on that, uh, on that PC. Now that we have started having cases of broken pins, there's nothing much I can do. So let me see this one. This is also another case. Eh? Uh, these people, after they saw my video, they brought the machines and told me that. Eh? And I've realized two of them. Like this one, the, the case for this one was a bit. This one was a bit complex. Let us try to see together. Let me try to microscope. Yeah, this is the socket. Okay, you can see them. Yeah, this is a bent pin. I don't know whether you can see that. This one. And this is another bent pin. You don't even, you can't even tell which direction they are facing those pins. Check another one here. Where is this one facing? 
here so this uh and remember this one the processor is a core i7 i tend to believe it's a core i7 you can check this one here this uh another bent pin here facing a different direction look at these ones this one is actually i don't know whether it's broken or it's still inside maybe it's supposed to to come outside like that you can see there's a lot of bent pin here and there's nothing there's also nothing we can do on this one now so i think we are we are learning a lesson from this here that you have to be very careful on to whom you are going to have to service your laptop otherwise you are going to yeah these are cases that we cannot help you see now the removing the whole of this socket and replacing it with another one is not a very simple process actually it's something i don't think that uh, it's going to be very tedious and maybe very very expensive the only way to do now is to just get rid of this motherboard and maybe the processor is okay it's not shorted maybe you may use the processor on maybe other machines in future but this one there's no we can do also the case for these ones there has broken pins and there's nothing we can do and that's what i was trying to tell you yesterday as you service your laptop regularly or your pc regularly make sure you're taking your pc to somebody who has got experience to service those pieces or you end up with a dead motherboard so i cannot fix this too i'll just have to call the customers and tell them that i cannot fix and the only way now to go is for replace the motherboard or maybe do away with the whole pc and buy a new one so that's it remember subscribe for those who have not subscribed and for those who have subscribed we are very grateful and let's meet in the next video